The mighty Rochdale no match for Man United at Old Trafford, eh? After penalties, after 90 minutes, another game where United scraped through. By the skin of our teeth, we just about beat League One Rochdale, who are 17th in League One. Wow. United at the moment are horrendous to watch. No other way to describe it. Horrendous. Mason Greenwood's finish, again, the only real moment of quality. A lot of parallels to the Astana game. But after West Ham, Pogba back in the team. Mason Greenwood starting, Tuanzebe captain. Yeah, it was all right. That game, though, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Really is painful to watch United at the moment. I'm not really sure what else to say about it. I want to focus on the main positive from that game. Mason Greenwood again coming up with the moment of quality in a match which desperately lacked it. This time cutting in inside on his left foot and finishing it. And just to see and show how two-footed Greenwood is, took his penalty with his right foot. He's a gifted, natural finisher. And absolutely should be in that starting eleven to face Arsenal. Because Rashford, Rashford sorry, is injured. Martial, even if he's coming back from injury like Pogba was tonight, he's not going to be at the races 100%. So Greenwood is in that starting 11 against Arsenal. Let's see what happens on Monday night. But if that performance is anything to go by, I wouldn't be hoping for too much. United dominated large parts of the game against Rochdale, created a few chances. But again, I mean, it's dead simple to prepare to play Manchester United at the moment. If you're Rochdale's manager going into this game, all you've got to say to your team is, look, sit in two deep, disciplined banks, hit on the counter-attack when we can, let's see what we can do. That's all they did. And Matheson, whatever his name was, a 16-year-old, got his goal. Massive moment for him. But it's another game where United just get undone and become unstuck against such a fucking easy, easy tactic to use against us but everybody who does it it works United just don't have the craft and the guile to break down a team who sits deep and this 4-2-3-1 that Solskjaer is sticking with at the moment it's not working United in this formation this style it's not working too often we're finding the ball to either Brandon Williams or Rojo or wan Bissaka, and then passing it back nobody's really firing in too many crosses because no one's in the box to get on the end of them but then again, Fred and Pogba and Pereira weren't good enough tonight to find those balls that can cut through those deep defences. So United had large, large parts of possession, but very little cutting edge. And it's so often we've been saying that about United. It's becoming a bit of a pattern, more than a bit of a pattern. Another game goes by where we haven't scored two goals. And it was only just about one. It took to the 70th minute to get one past Rochdale. In the same game, same night, sorry, where Chelsea are banging seven past Grimsby. Liverpool are making nine changes to their 11 and comfortably beating MK Dons away from home. United are a painful, painful watch at the moment. And so much has to improve and get better for this season to be positive. Because it doesn't, putting Popper back in the team is not going to change our fortunes straight away. Putting Martial back in that team is not going to change our fortunes straight away. It's a systemic prom problem, sorry. Every, every player is involved in that. So many players in that game put out like three out of 10 performances against Rochdale. Pereira, you know, he was at fault for the goal, but I suppose at least he was trying to create opportunities. Lingard, come on. Another two or three out of 10. Fred, so often he, I'm so... I sort of don't know what to think about Fred because I'm still de still determined in my mind that our best midfield three would be McTominay, Popper, and Fred. But the more I watch him, the more I'm thinking, damn, what? And I suppose that's all you can say about United at the moment. It just leaves you confused, scratching your head, trying to find answers where maybe there aren't any answers other than the fact that we're just not a very good football team anymore. Maybe that's a simple solution. But I don't want that to be the case. Mason Greenwood, as I said, was the real positive from tonight overall. Dan James, when he came on, made a difference in our attack, which was so lacking a direct threat until he came on. So James and Greenwood being in the starting eleven against Arsenal will make a difference. But something's got to give. Because we went from Leicester 
A gritty, determined, defensive performance, but still only just about beating Leicester to West Ham. To get absolutely pumped by West Ham. A dismal performance. And then here, against Rochdale, very similar to the Astana game. United are just, we're in second gear at the moment. We're a pedestrian team to watch. I'm not sure how that's going to change, but at least we've got Greenwood at the moment, who is, it's bad, isn't it? United are looking towards a 17-year-old who's only made two, two or three starts for the club as our attacking spark. Don't know what to think. But United just about through against Rochdale on penalties. I, I suppose at least we avoid that headline. But you've got to go back to the training ground and what the fuck? Things have got to improve and got to improve quickly because that 4-0 against Chelsea, it feels like it was years ago. Let me know what you think about that match in the comments below. As always, who's your man of the match? For me, it was easily Mason Greenwood for the moment of quality in a game which desperately lacked it. Let's hope it improves against Arsenal because if it doesn't, we're going to lose to Arsenal as well.